an indian game so i'm very happy because uh, sagar shah might be an advantage because since it's an indian game divya everything's fine right my hair is not going to go right this is all theory it's all theory right yeah okay i just uh, i'm very happy the bar is okay <laughs> the bar is in the middle <laughs> who are you rooting for i'm rooting for my hair so uh, how do you get, get to keep your hair on but if sagar shah wins this if sagar shah wins this i am happy okay. okay all right now let's see 94 decent move i guess why are they playing so fast they have so much time okay now sagar has brought his knight out very nice developing all the pieces and now will alex castle will she go long castle or short castle we'll find out either ways it's equal i'm hoping she goes long castle that will make the game more interesting oh oh she goes short castle very very solid and now e5 breaking the center takes takes now beautiful we have an open file on d maybe the rook can sit over there so alex played info because um black was at info now probably black should defend the e5 pawn and get the knight on c5 with the idea of a5 yeah that's what he did oh he defends the e pawn twice and now alex is pushing b4 she wants to break he prevented knight c5 ah see i am so wrong she wanted to prevent knight c5 <laughs> Oh my god. What is wrong with the bar? Nothing is wrong with the bar. This is normal here. Hey, what happens if it's a draw? Did you I... shave half your hair. <laughs> no, no, that is not in the contract, please. Okay, now Sagar is thinking what to do. Should I take the pawn? But if you take the pawn, it's not good. Knight f6. Very very nice move. Developing all the pieces. Fifteen thousand people, guys. Can we reach fifteen thousand likes also for this amazing match? Alex is tired. She's been streaming since a long time. Sagar has fever. It's like I don't know. Why is my hair on the line? Why do I accept all these challenges? Knight h5 wants to sit on knight f4. What a nice juicy square for the knight. Can I be back in a second? Sure, sure. Alex is thinking what to do. She can just bring in rook f d1. Ah, uh, she can bring in the rook on the open file. Maybe plan to double it over there. I am just seeing the bar and telling you the best moves in all honesty. But yeah, some commentary I can do. F okay, yeah, rook f d1 very very nice. The bar likes it. And now will Sagar bring his knight to f4 that juicy square for the knight? It's a great square. Because uh, what else why else would he go knight h5? Okay, so black is now going to try to attack on the king side with knight f4 and sacks like bishop h3 and uh, now he plans to get the queen to g6. in case he was knight f4 and basically white will try to exploit the under development of black right now this okay what 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 is bishop f1 why bishop f1 maybe uh, she want she wanted to prevent knight f4 ke threats like oh, bishop h3 she doesn't like to give up her bishops yes last time i was playing with her she told me do not give up your bishop so easily maybe that's the plan here to defend the bishop yeah Also to protect the king side, and uh, black ka abhi ke liye threat was to take on bishop h3. Ah, bishop h3 sacrifice. Yes. Okay. The, instead, if she had not played bishop f1, bishop h3, g h3, and queen f3, and then you lose a pawn. Okay, okay, nice. Now anyway, knight f4. That's a great square for the knight, right? And now she can't play g3 because knight takes on s3. So let's see what she comes up with. Maybe continue her idea with the queen side attack of b5. Mm, no, B5 is not good. B5 is not good. Sorry. Uh, no. Sorry. <laughs> I just uh, read the best move in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know. I would prefer black here. This pawn structure is not supposed to be good for white. This much I know. On C4, A3, and A5. Mm, yes, the pawn structure is a little bad here. But I think it's okay. She doesn't have much choice. Sort of, um, it's passive for her. Probably black me G five H five करके कुछ करना चाहिए. Okay, he went H six. King H one. My hair is very happy because the bar is not. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't probably say this, but this intention is very weak. 
engine is very weak <laughs> oh my god this is what level of chess do you have to play <laughs> to say that this engine is weak i remember i was playing with anish one day and even he was like you know what is this engine evaluation is this is not right yeah it's not oh wait what happened rook a6 what is the idea here mm, he wants to bring the rook and now alex is attacked her rook with the bishop and now rook e6 <clears throat> go alex says uh, the chat in chess.com so awesome to see two universes collide like this oh acha divya this rook on h6 like now it is doubled but it has like there's no open file right so i think he he made a mistake to e6 yeah to e6 now he can go g3 now kyunki h3 abhi it's not attacked oh my god so <laughs> my i really like my hair yeah okay alex is really really thinking hard and she's playing the best moves here g3 attacking the knight where will the knight go the knight is saying man where should i go now only one square to go knight h5 doesn't look like a good square for the knight i think he'll just go g now alex is in a better position yeah knight h5 being played by sagar the only move for the knight and now alex has the tempo what is she going to do what is going to be her plan okay bishop g2 uh yeah i don't know i didn't like this move you didn't like this move yeah because uh, this bishop is now not attacking anything it's now blunt because the pawn on b4 stops this bishop sagar has played rook e7 opening up the bishop also maybe he's planning something on h3 Okay okay Alex defends the h3 pawn with the king Yes do you think I can be a good commentator Divya For which level For like I say like you know like a professional commentator Do you want the truth No thank you thank you I am <laughs> I'm okay Rip hair going on in my chat guys relax wait <laughs> rip hair already no belief rip hair Hair life matters. Please stop. <laughs> okay, knight h4. Divya, what's it? What's the idea here? Knight h4. I think knight f4 is possible. Abhi, that will create some counter chances. Knight f4. Oh, But, look at this move. Yeah. Yeah, knight f4. Now you get to save your hair. I think it's equal. Guys. Oh, knight f4. He didn't see it, but that's also cool. What he played is g6. Knight f4, knight guys. Knight f4 is okay. It's not great. What he played is it fine? G6. Yeah, g6 is cool. Awesome. That. Okay, knight f4 played. Wow. Now if pawn takes, if g takes, then queen takes on h4. What a great yes. strategy. Yes. Yes. I actually like black here. And now he's also threatening the bishop, right? Does he want the bishop? Mm. Is it like a good uh, bad yes. bishop? Yes. He doesn't want the bishop, but he wants the e4 pawn. He wants the e4. Oh yes, the mm. the bishop is guarding the e4 pawn. So if he can eliminate the bishop, he can also win the e4 pawn. Um. Yes. I guess so she'll have to defend the e4 pawn. Shall? Nice. Oh. Is it? Is it? Yeah. It is a good move. She has defended the e4 pawn successfully. Do you think uh, Divya? It's a great idea to go into an end game with a higher op uh, rated opponent. Yeah. Why not? Why? How does it matter? No, because as a uh, high-rated players have properly studied end games, everything. I mean, uh, and it's easier to have confidence in yourself. Na, maine bhi pahai kiya, kuch kiya hai. Yeah. Oh my God! What a what a move! F5 breaking <laughs> open. Man, Alex Nine. is playing so well. F5 was a mistake. Wasn't? I just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Divya, please please handle the commentary. <laughs> Okay. Why was that for a bad move, but why was that for a bad move? If I, I um, I don't know. I didn't like it. It creates dark square weaknesses, I guess. Yes, but black doesn't have a dark square bishop, so it's okay. Oh, now will Sagar <laughs> exchange queens? We will find out, guys. 
Oh, actually, he should because if a pawn weak and the uh, white's king's uh, queen side pawn structure is very weak. So see, yeah, he went. Oh, he, he goes after this head. weakness a five guys. But we cannot underestimate Alex. She's a very very strong player. Uh, she might find queen c three here. <laughs> you found it. I saw the bar, no but. Okay. <laughs> Honest commentary, guys. <laughs> Oh, guys, something happened here in the bar. Queen, queen G3, I guess. Bishop E4 is there. Looks like he has exchanged the queens and now he's going to take the pawn on G6. Yes. And take now the... he gets the pawn on A5 and the one of those two pawns. Wow. He can put pressure. Nice, guys. My hair is saying thank you, Sagar Shah. He has taken the pawn on the G6. Like geez, okay. Now another pawn is hanging. What has Alex done? She has miscalculated the end game, I guess, because now one more pawn is hanging. Rook takes c5. She is um, one pawn down. You get the savior here, but now there is a huge chance for Black to mess up. Yeah. Okay, now it's fine. Guys, he should both... just attack the. But he should whenever like this. Uh, not rule. But uh, as I say, that whenever there are two rooks, you should uh, exchange one the, one of the rooks off. Okay, guys. Uh, the thing is, uh, Divya, Alex is uh -huh. very very uh, fast and very very quick. She's amazing at hyper bullet and bullet. So if it goes down to like thirty seconds, I think she has fair, a fair, fair, fair <laughs> So let us see if uh, the game can be concluded before Sagar reaches time trouble. Okay, he's going after the e4 pawn. How do you defend it? There's no way to defend it actually. G5 is Alex's hope. Yeah, you can't defend it. They should be easily winning for black this time. Maybe it could over. 22,000 people watching this. Everybody like the stream. Please follow Alex on Twitch. And here Bishop takes E4 plate. Wants to exchange the bishops. But she denies. She's like, I don't want to give you my bishop. Why should I give you my bishop? Look at this rook yeah. on f6. Clear winning up. I'll do it not easily. Man. Wow, this is so not what I expected. I mean, I didn't want to do it every day, but... Yeah, but <laughs> okay, attacking the rook once more. And the thing is, now Sagar is with 1 minute and 5 seconds only. If Alex and managed to not exchange her pieces, she might create some confusion. She might flag Sagar in the end. Let us see if that happens. Bishop g6. Defending everything. Look at this rook on f6 now. It's a part of the family. Oh. Is there any way to stop that pawn? No. Oh. Yeah, I can't help it. What a game, guys. What a game by Sagar Shah here. Okay, wants to exchange the rooks because the lesser you have in the end game, like the lesser pieces on the board, if you have a bit more pieces than <laughs> the opponent, you have better chance. So he's trying to exchange everything so that when what is left on the board is more for Sagar here. And the three pawns will show the domination on the C and B file. Now C5 maybe. Mm. Finally. Guys, if Sagar Shah loses this, I will remove all my hair. I'll go bald. There you go. Aha, I aha, said it. Abhi, abhi bol <laughs> C5 check. However, only 35 seconds. But that pawn is getting promoted now. He 
King G1, yes. Bishop G1. G1, and Alex resigned and the game. Won. Oh my God, my hair is intact. I can't believe it. 25,000 people here. Everybody like the stream. And welcome these two amazing players, Sagasha and Alex, back on stream. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. What a game. Hello, what? hello, hello. Hi, Alex. You played very well, Alex. So congrats. I, I was Don't very... smile as if I played well oh, after really? you beat me. I, I think... Uh, <laughs> A few moves were very nice, like Bishop F1, and uh, like I thought you were better at that point. No, no, like, yeah, like, in the middle, at into... some point, Sagabai, the engine, the bar was in uh, White's favor, but then something happened. How, how big, like, how big was her advantage? Plus one, plus 1.2, plus something one. like that. Yeah. Were yeah, you I, nervous, Samai? I was so nervous. I was so nervous, especially Divya was scaring me even more. She was like, This good. is not looking good. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. Wow, well, what was the turning point of the game? I, I guess it was. Uh... It was when uh, Alex gave up her pawns on the queen side on the B C file, B file here. Uh, when I took on A five. No, the A five. I thought that was a great move because I, I have uh, every time I had this threat of A B four, A B four, rook A one. Right. So That's that what was, I was a, annoyed by. So that was a good move. I thought. Yeah. And uh, then also King H1, G3, BG2. I thought you were better there. Uh, Queen F3 I had missed. Uh, but luckily I was not losing there. After Queen G3 actually, when uh, yeah, Alex queen. decided to exchange the Queens, that is when the bar started slowly yeah. preferring. I black. think white, if white goes Queen C3 there, uh, holding on to her A5 pawn, uh, that mm -hmm. not exchanging Queens, I would have maybe tough. Yeah. I, what I was most worried about is that uh, if Alex takes you down to the 30 seconds, 25 seconds, then it's going to be very difficult because I have seen her play very, very fast, yeah. hyper bullet. So I'm so glad I get to keep my hair. <laughs> oh, congratulations. And so my, uh, I'm glad for your hair and Saga. That was really fun. You, you're yeah. a strong opponent. Thank and you. Divya, I'm sure the commentary was good, but I couldn't hear it. <laughs> Well, Samai and Divya did a fantastic job commenting on this game. Uh, but I just want to share a few points which I felt were going on in my head while the game was going on. So after d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, Bogo Indian, uh, queen e7, knight c3, I was very scared when I made the move d6, you know, for a second. I felt as if, oh my god, did I miss queen a4 check? And it's only by luck that this works out for me, knight c6, d5, because I hadn't seen it. Uh, bishop c3, if you take here, then take, uh, take, take, and castles, black is fine. And if I take bishop c3 uh, here, ED, cd will be met with knight d5 with a fine position for black. Bishop f6, queen f6, c takes d5. It seems I'm losing a piece, but first take here and then check and I'm actually winning here. So, uh, but Alexandra went e3. And this is all very standard stuff in the Bogo Indian. One thing which I felt was that this move weakens the d4 square. So I was very happy with my position already. And I wanted to get my knight rerouted something like this so i feel that the right way to begin was a5 to prevent her for, from playing b3, b4 and a3 would be met with a4 because what happened was that i felt i could interchange the moves i played rookie at first next move i want to go a5 but then alexandra was very quick and she played b4 kudos to her she was very alert and uh, a a5 was met with a3 Later, I realized that here a very good plan for black could also be c5. A very interesting move. And uh, the thing is that if b5 is played, then this structure loses its flexibility. And I can quickly get to d4. While this knight will take time to come to d5. Um, okay, a5, a3, knight f6. I felt all this was logical, getting my knight here to f4. And she took here. And I think maybe take, 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 take and knight f4 was better. But I was a little bit scared that her rook gets in from here. So I decided to play this and I was the move that I was hoping that she wouldn't play was this. And when she played this, I was like, wow, that's really a good move. Because although her structure is ruined, I don't know what I should be doing with my position. Because always there is this threat of knight takes e5. 
uh, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes and back rank mate. Also my bishop does not have a good square to go to because on e6 it blocks the, on d7 first of all the rook would take it. On e6 it would block the protection of the e5 pawn. There's no square on f5 and g4. So at this point it looks like black is doing okay but somehow the position isn't, isn't particularly great. So first I went h6 removing those back rank threats and king h1 was a bad move by her. She should have played c5 taking control of an important a6 square. Why is it important? Because after king h1, I played a piece on a6 but the wrong piece. I should have gone queen a6 looking to take the pawn on a5. Now my worry was that knight takes e5 loses a pawn but here black has a good move which is queen f6 and uh, the knight is lost because the knight is pinned to the queen so therefore rook a6 was a not a great move she played c5 excellent rook e6 and she spotted that now the bishop's root is interfered so g3 well played knight h5 and here bg2 was i think a passive move it seems like she is solidifying her position here but maybe better was to go aggressively with bishop b5 and this move is very very subtle because you provoke c6 then you go back and then later if i want to you know make way for my bishop somehow this d6 square becomes weak so bishop g2 rook e7 and now everything falls in place for me because my bishop is sitting here when you sit here attack here she went rook d2 bishop c6 knight h4 i prevented her first from entering on f5 then i played on my knight to f4 now i'm threatening not only take here if she saves the bishop i was planning to go knight e6 knight d4 you know where my knight would be well placed she went queen f3 king g7 and this tactics actually work in my favor because now the white pawns are just too weak like uh, queen c3 might have been a better way to play but i i think after gf5 i'm still better now rook g1 you can't take by the way because this was hanging so rook g1 makes sense and now king h7 and i think black is still fine uh she went queen g3 rook a8 and after fg6 i took took king takes and now although she's pawn up she's losing a lot of pawns uh, now she's a pawn down and now two pawns down three pawns down and uh, here it became clear that i was winning uh, and i went on to win the game but great fight by alexandra botez and i found her opening play to be very very strong her fide elo is around 2020 right now but clearly she's way stronger than that as can be seen from her moves uh, i did see that uh, if i went into the end game from the games that i studied of hers i would have a better chance and uh, that's what happened but it was great playing her uh, thanks alexandra and thank you samai and divya for your commentary this is sagar shah signing off hope you learned something from this game